The heart. The hardest working muscle in the human body. Your heart will beat approximately 115,000 times today. In an average lifetime, the heart pumps about 52,560,000 gallons of blood. Wow, that's enough to fill 66,000 swimming pools. Now let's dive right in and pump out some more facts. I'm Tanya. I'm Casey. And, and we're Reflected, Reflected Genetics. Genetics. Welcome, Welcome to our, our channel. channel. Let's go. Are you okay? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm doing my mouth exercises. For what? For this. I thought a thought, but the thought I thought wasn't the thought I thought I thought. If the thought I thought I thought had been the thought I thought, I wouldn't have thought so much. Ah, tongue twister. Yep. It is widely believed that tongue twisters were invented by mischievous poets and linguists to test the limits on language and humour. Okay, well how about this one? Go for it. How many cookies could a good cook cook if a good cook could cook cookies? A good cook could cook as much cookies as a good cook who could cook cookies. What tongue twisters do you know? Let us know in the comments. Our favourite is... All I want is a proper cup of coffee poured from a proper cup of coffee pot. I may be off my dot, but I want a cup of coffee from a proper coffee pot. Tin coffee pots, iron coffee pots, they're no use to me. If I can't have a proper cup of coffee from a proper cup of coffee pot, I'll have a cup of tea. Yeah! During your lifetime, you will spend 82 days brushing your teeth. And at four minutes a day, that equates to... 118,990 minutes! Whew. Fear has always been a part of human behaviour, but it wasn't until the 1700s that English speakers started using the word phobia to describe the fear of something. My fear is spiders, which is arachnophobia, and it's very common. My fear is wasps, which is spexophobia. Buzz, 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 buzz. <laughs> There are over 400 recognised phobias out there. Some are quite common and others are very unique. There is even a fear for long words, where usually the person feels shame for mispronouncing long words. And then it leads to guilt, distress and anxiety. The technical name for this is Hippopotamonstrosequipedaliophobia. That's ironic. Research shows that in 2022, we consumed 7.5 million tons of chocolate. That is a lot of chocolate. <laughs> Switzerland is the largest consumer of chocolate around the world. The first chocolate bar was molded in 1847 by J.S. Fry and Sons, one of the biggest confectionery British companies founded by Quakers. It was the largest producer of chocolate in the UK in the early 1800s. The milk chocolate bar was invented thanks to Nestle powdered milk in 1875. Kit Kats were made to accompany packed lunches with its squarish unique shape, which soon developed into four sections, all wrapped nice and brightly in its beautiful red packaging. Have a break. Have a Kit Kat. So British. <laughs> what are you doing? Just checking to see if my thumb is the same size as my nose. And is it? Yeah, it is. Oh yeah. <laughs> Bet you're trying it now. The jive is the fastest of the Latin dances with lots of kicks and flicks. Happy, energetic, with loads of twirling of the woman. It originated from the southern parts of America and from 1927 was very, very popular with the younger crowds. The jive was mostly danced to swing and rock and roll music. The jive came to Europe during the Second World War and because of the corrupting influence, people would perform in underground clubs in the 1930s. By the 1940s, American jazz singer Cab Calloway demonstrated the jive and it became a massive sensation.
average person walks the equivalent of five times around the world in their lifetime. And assuming that we live until we are 80, we will approximately walk 110,000 miles in our lifetime. Who doesn't love to be on a swing and at any age? In fact, in 2022, Richard Scott from the UK at the age of 51, broke the world record for the longest marathon on a swing, reaching 36 hours. Swinging on a swing helps kids relax and sleep better. Studies have shown the back and forth motion along with the spinning helps the balance of their neurological activity. So therefore their brains are more at rest. Have you ever seen an eclipse? And if so, what type? There are two types of an eclipse. One, solar, two, lunar. A lunar eclipse can only occur during a full moon, whereas a solar eclipse can only occur during a new moon. A solar eclipse is when the moon passes between the sun and the earth and partially or fully blocks the sun. There are four types of solar eclipses. Total, partial, annular, and hybrid. A lunar eclipse is when the Earth moves between the sun and the moon and the Earth's shadow falls on the moon. There are three types of lunar eclipses, total, partial, and penumbral. The cycle of eclipses repeats itself every 18.6 years, and this is called Saros. A solar eclipse always occurs two weeks before or after a lunar eclipse. The longest duration of a total solar eclipse is seven and a half minutes. A rose's color determines its meaning. Red signifies love. Pink means grace. Peach signifies modesty. Orange implies fascination. So next time you receive a rose, maybe the meaning behind it means more than you think. Roses are edible and a great source of vitamin C. The fruit of the rose is called a rose hip and it is also edible, which can be used in jams, jellies, teas and salads. Mount Everest is the tallest point on earth, reaching an amazing height of over 29,000 feet. Wow. I know, right? It is located in the Himalayan mountain range, somewhere between Nepal and Tibet. Amazingly though, it actually grows a quarter of an inch every year. It was named after George Everest, a former general of India, and it is over 60 million years old. Wow. And it is also known to be sacred to some religions. Mount Everest has been climbed over 11,000 times. Sadly though, over 290 people have died whilst climbing since 1922. Most deaths are due to avalanches and not all bodies have been recovered. Well that's it guys, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed our random things and learned something new today. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe and check out our other channels on Instagram and TikTok and we will see you next time. Ciao, Ciao for now. now.